Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick, easy, flavorful chicken salad for your next tostadas or if you want to pair it in a sandwich. So if you want to know the recipe, keep on watching. All right, for my recipe, you will need a whole roasted chicken. I get mine at Costco. You will need some salt, pepper, two green onions, and for spices, I use paprika, garlic powder, not salt, so make sure it's garlic powder, two cans of mixed vegetables. You will also need some sour cream, I like daisies, and some mayo, and very important, you need salad supreme. All right, let's get started. I do have long nails, you guys, so I am going to use some gloves, but if you don't, get your hands in there and go for it. This is just how I feel more comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and cut slices um, into my chicken, and I only use the chicken breast. I use actually both sides of the whole roasted chicken, um, but if you wanna use the legs, go right ahead. And I do not use the skin. So um, if you guys like the skin, go ahead and probably cut that up and add it. I just don't, and my family prefers me not to add it, so I don't add it. So I will go ahead and shred my chicken, and I will speed up this process, and I'll see you guys back in a second. So I am done shredding my chicken. I like to get in there and fluff it. As you can see, I use both sides of my chicken breast and I needed to break for some mommy juice. After all, I did a lot of shredding, so it's my reward. <laughs> all right, so this is half a cup, you guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do is basically just show you as I go how many half a cups I use of mayo. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the mayo. So I ended up using two half cups of a mayo, but I actually end up using three, and you'll see that um, towards the end of my video. But um, don't worry, I'll have all the uh, information linked under the description. So this is one fourth of a cup. So I added the sour cream, and then I'll show you guys how many I use as I go. All right, and the star of the show is Salad Supreme. This spice, you guys, is a game changer. I'm telling you, wait till you taste it. Of course, if you have allergies, definitely leave it out. But um, I, will I want to say that it is optional, but definitely you need it. I'm going to add one teaspoon of pepper. And of course, this is to taste. So if you guys like more pepper or more salt, go ahead and add more. Also, one teaspoon of salt as well. And I will add the paprika. As you can see, it is one teaspoon, but a little more doesn't hurt. And I also added one teaspoon of the garlic powder and go ahead and mix well. So I like to add these ingredients first before I add any of the veggies. All right guys, this is the part that I realized that my chicken salad was a little dry and not as creamy as I like it, so I did add another half cup of the mayo. Um, so don't worry, all the uh, ingredients will be listed down lower on the description box. So you guys will get all those ingredients that I added exactly and precisely. So uh, go ahead and mix your chicken salad really well at this point. And I like to make sure everything is really, really mixed well. And then go ahead and add your green onions at the very end and then mix well again. So I like to add one more teaspoon of the Salad Supreme and the paprika just to top it off. And doesn't this already look super yum? 
I'm telling you guys, make this for your family, for your husband, for your neighbor. Just make it. It's so delicious. You won't regret it. And it's so quick and easy. So I'm giving it a taste just to make sure that all my seasonings are correct. And they are. So we're ready to serve this. All right, guys. So let me show you how my family likes to prepare their chicken tostadas. So right here, I have a sopa de arroz. So we like to get some rice on top of our tostada. We layer the first layer with sopa de arroz. And you can use whatever rice you like if you guys um, want some white rice. I don't know if it would taste as good with brown rice, but you could definitely use white rice. And then we put the chicken right on top. And you can pack this as much as you want or as little. I like to make sure that every bite gets at least some chicken in it. And of course, tapatillo has to be involved and invited to the party. So we want to go ahead and add some tapatillo. And yeah, that's how we make our chicken tostadas. So let's taste it. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, delicious, really good. This is a must make recipe. Get some mommy juice. So if you guys are looking for a quick, easy recipe for your family on a long work day, definitely make this recipe. You guys won't regret it. It's flavorful, delicious, quick and easy. So don't forget to click and subscribe on my channel and give it a like. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.